Welcome back to The Five. So according to the latest Gallup poll, a record 50% of Americans think pot should be legal. That's up from 46% from last year and 12% from 1969, a year Bob can't remember. Now, I am pro-legal. I've been around drunks and stoners all my life, and I've never been punched by a stoner. I can't say the same for drunks. And every single thing I regret in my life occurred after four melon balls. Potheads are annoying, but they're generally harmless, and they shouldn't be in jail with Aryan meth heads who make knives out of toothbrushes. Even more, banning a substance because it feels good is wrong. Some vital drugs have euphoric side effects, and they aren't banned because they make you feel like George Hamilton. But just because I'm fine with legalization doesn't mean I'm fine with pot. I'm with comedian Gavin McInnes, who said, quote, it kills your ambition and ruins lives. It doesn't make you kill people. It doesn't make you do anything. In fact, it makes you not do anything. Pot should only be for watching horror movies with your wife. <laughs> and it's worse, he adds, for men and women of college age. You should be figuring out your path in life, but instead you're melting on the couch, cradling a half-eaten bag of Funyuns lost in a marathon of bosom buddy reruns. <laughs> so yeah, hooray for legalization of pot, but boo for all your friends who might have been something. <laughs> yes. Dana, uh, you're high right now. Um, how do you feel? It's just sitting next to you every day. Yeah, I'm you're getting the second hand. feeling. <laughs> yes. Uh, how do you feel about the, the, the concept of legalization? I'm just against it. My, yeah. my, my gut instinct is I'm against it. I, against it. And um, I'm from uh, Wyoming, Colorado. Denver, Colorado is a place that I consider um, home. And do you know that there are more medical marijuana dispensaries in Denver, Colorado, than there are Starbucks. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge business. It's such a huge business, Eric, in fact, that they're trying to unionize medical marijuana dealers in two states. I believe the uh, one Colorado's is Colorado. One. To legitimize their industry, are going to uh, unionize, uh, uh, I guess they approached the United Food and Commercial Workers and held an election in September. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. That so makes the, the pot dealers want to get together with the unions. It's kind of the same, you know, union thugs, uh, mobsters, and drug dealers. Look, here's the issue. Uh, states states <laughs> have, yes. 25 states, I believe, have legalized or decriminalized pot, but the federal government still says mm -hmm. it's still illegal. So right. Obama has this huge dilemma. He does, does he allow California to have thousands of dispensaries or Colorado have thousands or does he look the other uh, look the other way or does he go in and start cracking down I, my guess and is you know he, he says he's going to get tougher on him I don't think he can no cuz a lot of people who state, smoke up well, that's level. his base a lot a lot a lot of the places you mentioned <laughs> uh, Dana base. by the way has some of the best dope ever Bob grown I want to ask West. you though because I, I believe you're an expert in in this matter yes, especially. I certainly am that's something to be proud of yes uh, you know don't you feel that medical marijuana is kind of a Trojan horse? It's the re most ridiculous. I mean, it, it's a scam. You can't legalize marijuana, right, uh, because voters won't vote for it, but they'll vote for medical marijuana. <laughs> so all of a sudden, you get on the phone, you call some phony doctor somewhere, and he says, yeah, you're a sick guy. You need this stuff for pain. Look, the danger of this stuff is that it's being widely disseminated and for two reasons. One, states want the revenue from tax sales. Right. And secondly, People want to buy dope and get stoned. I, and look, I, don't, I have no problem if you're 40 or 50 getting stoned, but you're right. You get this to kids, and it is a gateway drug. I mean, I'm telling you, I deal with drug addicts all the time, and kids who start smoking dope are going to go on to blow, and they're going to go on to heroin. And the idea that they're putting this around some medical thing, well, first of right, all, it's not even true. think what it would do it. to the snack food industry. Yeah. I mean, it, at least that might be a way to create well, look, we, you, 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 I, I do want to make one point about the unions. One of the things that concerns me is... Is what if they go on strike and then there's an emergency and somebody really needs to get high and then like what are we going to do? Are we going to call them back to work no. like the air traffic controller? But Dana, I could walk outside the studio. Matter of fact, in the next break, I could walk out here and right. buy you a bag of dope. Seriously, right I, here. I don't oh, know sure. who you would even approach. But you actually the, the garage the thing, tenants, well, most of them. That's the what sad thing about Bob, Bob. You're like the guy who had all of his fun and don't, don't want anybody else to have fun. <laughs> oh no, it's not that. I didn't have that much fun near the end, by the way. But think about it. Why are they trying to use this to have revenue? Because the states and the localities have missed Manage their budget, budgets, giving generous yeah, yeah, packages yeah, 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 to the. That, that, you no, know, it's that's true, true because though. it makes the they cities give, and states not have they to make them, they, have, they have blown their budgets on union pensions and all these other you wasteful know, programs. And now, you're involved, you're involved and now, in the best very, walking uh, advertiser for Prozac. I, as, I mean, uh, you know, as the only one here who has kids, with the exception of Bob, who you know went through this whole phase, it's a dangerous thing to allow to, to decriminalize it. it you, you make it much easier, much more accessible. I don't want my 13-year-old getting in a car yeah. in two years same and, and saying gambling. Yeah. 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 Gambling is the same way. Yeah. You can get the revenue, but it, at really, at what cost 
of the yeah. culture and of the community. Speaking of, uh, House Oops, Committee is setting a hearing. Bob, 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 you'll like this. We're going to talk I about something hear. you're interested in, Bob. I can't in, hear Bob. anything you're saying. Um, my earpiece. House, the House Committee is setting, uh, setting a hearing on Tuesday to legalize online gambling. Right. Well, how do you feel about that? I think it's just fine. I mean, first of all, it's going on all the time. I, I do it um, myself, and I, I think it is a revenue source. And look, there's gambling in every place. Every state in the union pretty much has. You make bets at the table. table. Your phone rings during the show. I know that. And with, the, but from I'm your telling you, you can gamble everywhere. It's been used as a source of revenue, right, for states. I mean, that, that's why gambling is spread so fast across yeah. the country. What's Dana, it, Dana, it makes when you're not high, you're up all night gambling. Yeah, I've, I've lost thousands. <laughs> yes, you have. But, but, what are your thoughts? Fun. But think about it. Rendell brought all the slot machines into Pennsylvania, and it hasn't brought any good. There's people there blowing their welfare checks, their Social Security checks. I mean, you know, That's it's their not choice. slot machines are the answers to our fiscal problems. But, but, well, they actually, why, why don't we, why don't we ban that. all fun? No, 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 but, I didn't but know that. The important point is all of this gambling that's going on, literally billions of dollars are being bet overseas, and there's, yeah. no, there's no tracking it, there's no, um, no taxing it, and, and so casinos want it. Gamblers would like it. I think it's a safer bet betting through a casino than some bookies sure. on the other side. Can I just point one thing out, Craig, sure. in, your in your monologue? Yes. Melon balls? Melon balls. What is that? Uh, Midori, uh, Midori see, orange juice. Like, Midori and orange juice. They're bright green. It's a bush alcoholic yeah, band. I, I would have no thought like alcoholic would ever drink a melon something. ball. They look like <laughs> ecto cooler, right? They're bright green. They're bright the green. They're delightful. Sitting on a rooftop, shirtless. You can't go wrong. It's like kryptonite. Yeah, it is like I would have to drink 50,000 of those things to get a buzz on. Melon balls. What a wuss. I thought those were those things you got at the buffet. Oh, you know, man. The oh, oh, my little goodness. scoops. All right. Dana, you are the straightest human being I've ever had. God bless you. I mean, I bless you scoop out of the goddamn I mean, they're bad enough as alcohol, man. I mean, no, no, no. These are melon ball shooters. All right. Not little melon balls. It's a little thing in them that you take and you put in your mouth. No, these are wrapped ooh, in bacon. Melon they're balls. delicious. <laughs> You're both okay. so red right now. Okay. God and coeds, two of Bob's favorite things. We'll be talking about both of them next. If you leave now, I will come by your home when you're asleep and rearrange your furniture. The five will be right back. Just hold me in there. Yeah.